Hey there, Jamie Smith, CF Pro Tools, CFProTools.com. Just wanted to share a quick video with you on how to install and configure uh, the CF Timed Button script uh, so that you can set a button to be initially hidden, uh, immediately hidden on a page. Say you've got a VSL and you've got a big buy button below it and you want people to watch uh, for a certain distance into the video before you show them the buy button. Uh, you want that to last for a certain number of seconds um, and so uh, this is a way to get that button hidden from the start so that they don't see it at all. Even a flash of the buy button is not there at all uh, when they first start uh, the video and then after so many seconds, um, you know, so if, say if you want it to be uh, 10 minutes, you know, 10 times 60 seconds uh, and, and uh, you know, so it'd be uh, 600 seconds at that point, um, then you would show, you know, delay it for 600 seconds and then it actually sets a cookie on their browser so that the next time they come back, say somebody does, comes and watches 10 minutes into the video, you show them the button, but they don't buy. They come back the next time, do you want them to wait another 10 minutes to actually uh, go in and see the button again. No, you want them to be able to, you know, they already watched 10 minutes worth of the video. You already showed them the buy button. So go ahead and show it to them right away. So this is the script that will allow you to do that. So hope you like it and let's jump right into it. So here is, uh, I'm inside of a, a test funnel I've got in my account here. I'm gonna go into the edit page. Uh, and this is just, uh, it's taking a little while to load up here, uh, the preview, but um, I've already built this page out. It's just a basic VSL template. And I've actually got a button on this page, but you don't see it because it's hidden. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my button by going over to elements and I'm gonna untag that. So this is how the page comes out of the box. Uh, just using a basic template, We've got a big old buy button right down here. Um, and what we want to do is actually, um, you know, set up this button like you would want to have the action if it goes to the next page, which it normally would, you know, it should come out of the box pretty much the way you want it, but configure it all the way you want it. Make it look the way you want, make it point to where you want, all that stuff. And then just go into the elements, find your button. So, and as you hover over these, you'll notice that they highlight here. So then it gets highlighted and just click the little toggle here to hide that button. It's gonna hide it in the editor, but it's also gonna hide it immediately on the page. Uh, if you do the time delay, um, so let's uh, show this button again. If you go into the button and actually do the time delay here, you can do this as well here and you can say fade in and I wanna show it after, you know, uh, 20 minutes or, you know, two minutes and 32 seconds. Um, what happens is you'll get a little flash while that page is loading. It takes a little while to load the video, load the images, load the style sheets, load the JavaScript, and the button's actually hidden by a, a flash of JavaScript that happens after the page is fully loaded. So you might see that button for you know a half a second or a second or two seconds before it actually gets toggled away, and that might be a little irritating to some users. So we don't want to do it that way. We want it to be hidden from the get-go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set that to no time delay, and we're just gonna select, uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna go into elements, find our button, and we're gonna hide it right from there. We're gonna click save. Then we're gonna go in and grab this handy little script that includes the, uh, the JS cookie library, uh, which gives us the ability within JavaScript to set cookies on uh, the browser. And all, what we wanna do is actually grab that button ID uh, for our button. So if we go back in and again, we, uh, if we just click on this, then it's going to open up. And what we want to do is grab this element ID right here. We're going to copy that. I'm going to go into our script and you can see I've already pasted it in there. So we're just going to highlight that, paste it in. So that tells me what button, what element to select on the page. Uh, and then the, the only other thing that we need to set is how many seconds of delay we want to have. So right now it's set to 20. Uh, say we wanted to set that to uh, 15 seconds. Uh, normally you wouldn't if you've only got a 15 second delay, what's the point? But say you've got a 30 minute video and you want it to show up at minute 27 and 32 seconds. So we'll just take uh, 27 minutes times 60 seconds per minute. So that's 1620. Uh, so that's 27 minutes plus 32. So 1620 plus 32. That's 1652. So then we would just put in 1652 there. And that's gonna show up at minute 27 and 32 seconds. Um, so you can time that exactly down to the second that you want that, that button to pop 
uh, with the video. Um, we're just going to do it for testing purposes right now. We're going to do it at 15 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go into our settings, tracking codes. I've already pasted my script in here once, so I'm gonna wipe this out. This is what you'll see to start. It'll just be empty here. If it's not, if you've already got other code in there, if you're using one of my other scripts or using scripts from somewhere else, then just add to. Don't erase and wipe everything out and put this in. Don't, don't break something you already have working. Just um, add to. But I'm gonna paste in my script here. We're gonna hit save. And, um, and then what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna open this in an incognito window because I've already been to it, so I've already been cookied. So we can see we've got our page loaded and we're just uh, about 15 seconds from now, we should see our button pop up. So uh, we'll just, you know, have a little chat here while we wait our 15 seconds on that button to pop up. How's your day been? Mine's been pretty good. Hey, we've got a button. Fantastic. We can go and buy now. Awesome. Now here's the real catch. So let's say we refresh the page. Our button is there right away. We don't have to wait the 15 seconds again. Button is there right away. Okay, that's the point. We've been cookied. The button's already shown one time. So for 30 days right now, out of the box, our script is set to expire that cookie after 30 days. Um, if you want to change that, you can. You can set that to seven days. You can set it to 365 days, whatever you want that to be. I set it to 30. You figure if they watched it 30 days ago, they probably forgot. Maybe they need to be forced to go back through your VSL again. Um, but this is the CF time, cookie, uh, time to button uh, with the cookie functionality. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So hopefully you like that and um, it's, uh, you can grab it and uh, put it to good use. So let me know where you, uh, where you have it at so I can see it and check it out. I always like seeing those things. Hopefully this has been helpful. Talk to you real soon.